Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm Chef Mick. This is Cooking for the Boys. And today, we're going Italian. That's right, very simple Italian. We're doing spaghetti in olive oil. No tomato sauce, no Alfredo sauce. Just the spaghetti, the olive oil. Throw in a couple of things to add some flavor. You're gonna love this. First of all, make sure you have some cooked spaghetti. If you don't, throw that spaghetti on right now, okay? It also works with angel hair pasta, uh, a bow tie, the elbows, if all you have is a uh, box of macaroni and cheese and you don't want to use the cheese, just <laughs> heat up that macaroni. You're going to be able to do it with this. You're going to enjoy it. Check this out. Okay. We've got a fire going right here. Fire. Okay. We're going to heat up some extra virgin olive oil. Let's use the good stuff, guys. Let's use the good stuff. Okay. But we don't need a lot of extra virgin olive oil. We're not going to put on a whole bunch. We just want to coat the bottom of this pan here. That's all we need to do. Then we'll move our jar, our pretty virgin olive oil jar, over here. Now, we've got that going. It's nice and hot. So then we get our cooked spaghetti. I cooked mine this morning. So if you're going to cook it today, go ahead and, I didn't do it, go ahead and set aside some of the, some of the water. It's got a lot of starch in it and you're going to need it. So throw spaghetti in there. I love sound effects. And that's a good sound effect right there. Okay, you can start from right here. You can already start adding your stuff. First of all, nothing wrong with throwing in a little extra salt right there. Throwing in a little bit of pepper while you got a chance. Nothing wrong with this. Now, what do we have so far? Olive oil and spaghetti. Okay, let's throw in some onions. Onions. Let's stir it around a little bit. Now, what you're going to find, what you're going to find is the spaghetti is going to start sticking to the bottom. That's why I said you need to reserve yourself a little bit of water. Since I didn't do it, now I get to go back here. Because if you don't, if you have your spaghetti already ready, that means you're not going to have any pasta water reserves. So you might as well just use regular water. Just drop a little bit in there so you can get it, stop it from uh, sticking to the bottom. Nothing wrong with that. Now, let's throw in some garlic. Just a little bit of garlic here. Okay? Now uh, you can never have too much garlic now, can you? No. Okay? Keep stirring it around. Keep stirring it around. There you go. Garlic, onion, salt, pepper. Mm. This by itself right here, this by itself right here is a great meal. But we're going to throw some more stuff in. These are great tomatoes. All I did was have them. I just cut them in half. Now I have them in there. <laughs> All right, great tomatoes. Keep it going now. Let's turn up the heat a little bit. I want it to get a little bit better. There you go. Let's get this onion softened. Let's get the garlic mixed in there. Tomatoes, beautiful stuff. Ooh, we could use a little bit of color. What should we put in there? This is flat leaf parsley, okay? This is just the parsley, guys. Okay, you can throw parsley in here. All of a sudden, ooh, look at that color. You can smell it, you can see it. Here it comes. Very beautiful stuff. Remember, the salt and pepper is up to you, so if you want more, that's fine. Okay, look at that. Look at that dish. That's incredible. Now, you're going to say, okay, what if I want some kind of meat with this? Well, the best thing to do, and we didn't do it because I'm going a little ve vegan vegetarian here. The best thing for you to do is take a couple of strips of bacon and start cooking the bacon so you can use that fat instead of the olive oil. And then you do the same thing, but you leave the, you crumble up the bacon and put it back in there. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Now, we want to add something in here that's not meat. You want to add something and make it a little bit heartier. But you don't want to throw meat in there. Again, you don't want to throw meat in here. These are mushrooms. Just slice the mushroom. A button mushroom. These are baby portobellas. But if you have just button mushrooms, okay, throw some mushrooms in there. Now look at that. Now you have a beautiful, beautiful evening dish. Something you want to serve on a date, something you want to serve to company. Look at this. Up until that mushroom, all you had was something you could do real quick for lunch or for dinner if you need to go out again. But if you're going to have company, you throw the mushroom in, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you've changed the entire dynamic of that dish. Look at that. That is beautiful. But are we done? 
Of course not. Of course not. Two more things. Red pepper flakes. Now, like everything else, red pepper is up to you. How much you want is up to you. I happen to enjoy red pepper. So the red pepper flakes go in there. We already got salt and pepper in there. Very nice. And last but not least, my friends, and you do it while it's still on. It's still nice and hot. Last but not least, Parmesan cheese. Okay, a little grate, whether you have a grater or you have a box grater like this, or you have something, one of those little turn things that they use in the restaurants, it doesn't matter. Just throw some cheese on there. The amount of cheese is up to you. That cheese is going to melt into it. Oh, it's going to be great. Guys, this is cooking for the boys. This is how this is how simple it is for my boys who are there in college. This is a one very easy place, a uh, very easy meal to do. Now, make sure you visit my website, http backslash all that good stuff, mixdc.yolasite.com. Email me. Let me know you saw this video. Let me know you've seen any of my videos. I am at Mix DC, M I C K S S. M I C K S D C. Okay, better. Mix DC at gmail.com. Guys, I'm Chef Mick. Remember, if you know how to cook, you can marry for looks. This is Cooking for the Boys. This is a beautiful, just spaghetti and olive oil. Beautiful vegan, vegetarian type dish. Or you can go with meat. I will see you next week. Bye.